What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Snap-on Tool Review. Today, you might be wondering, why am I all the way down here? Well, let's find out. Uh, today's a little bit of a different video. Um, I had a subscriber by the name of, uh, well, I'll use his name, Michael Lum, dropped by the shop the other day, and uh, he gave me something. So I wanted to show you exactly what he gave me, and uh, we're gonna build it and put it in my drawer. Let's fucking do this shit. So what I got is the beginning to the conversion of my lower drawer here to a power drawer. Uh, so part number, 1098J5000. Let's see what it is, shall we? All right, let's open up this box. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Um, there are some instructions for this thing. So what this thing is, is the cordless power drawer setup instructions. Uh, this is all for uh, impact guns, cordless guns, um, anything that uh, can fit in to one of these holsters, I guess you could call it. Uh, we do have to assemble it in the drawer. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this thing together. I gotta clean out my bottom drawer here and uh, put this thing in. So this is gonna be the first step towards me getting a power drawer in a non-power drawer toolbox. Fuck yeah. Alright, we're all cleaned out. Uh, I'm gonna pull this stuff out of here. Uh, we have the the destructions on how to put this thing together. Doesn't look too hard at all. Uh, so we got the, uh, yeah, we'll just start at number one, go to number two, number three. I'll show you guys exactly how this thing goes together. Uh, now this is, I believe, <coughs> meant for a KRL toolbox. <coughs> excuse me it will work on my toolbox because we have the same depth not necessarily the same uh, the same depth this way not necessarily the same depth this way but we are gonna make this thing work so come hell or high water it's fucking going in there I tell you all right let's start at step number one let's pull this drawer out so I can read this thing so you gotta have the drawer liner in there it's already in there uh, let's go put the holster in here. So it's, it's the perfect size, guys. The perfect size. <clears throat> Should be a quick, easy installation. All right. Okay. So this slides into a little slot and it comes with the screws you got to screw this thing together <clears throat> same thing on this side What's that? You actually can't with the, with the plate. Yeah. Yeah, you just set it in, yeah. What's that? Yeah.
All right, guys, in a second here, I will flip you over and uh, show you how this thing goes in here. Okay, so uh, this is all in. You got the screws, the upper and lower. Uh, these things are completely all adjustable, so I will uh, put everything in my in in the drawers and everything, and kind of I might have to play around with it a little bit later. Um, these are adjustable as well, as you can see, and they just clip in. You put that side down, and then this side just kind of straight into the into the slot there. So this is all in. So now we can go ahead and we can start putting shit in here. Uh, what do we got? 3 8 impact. Does the drawer close? Oh, hoo -hoo. Um, yes. So, drill. Nope. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, obviously adjust some of these things. Um, this will also take half inch impact, no problem, an old IM6100, what else can we fit in here, quarter inch impact, um, you know, we can even, what I'll probably, add, I don't know what I, I mean, there's so much other shit we can put in here. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it's super easy to set up as you guys can see it fits into an epic drawer that doesn't have the, the depth down that the KRL has But everything fits in there nicely So uh, yeah, so the next thing guys uh, What I plan on doing is actually converting it to a full-on power drawer so I want my chargers in here, um, I want my lights in here, and everything's going to be in here and ready to, instead of taking it out of the top drawer where it's been living for the last couple of years. Um, so look out for that. We are going to be actually converting this thing and putting an actual power strip in this drawer and making it a full-on power drawer. Right, guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, a special thank you goes out to Michael for dropping by the shop and uh, surprising me with this uh, drawer insert I honestly I can't thank you enough so um, super awesome I've said it before guys I have the most amazing subscribers in the world and this just proves it so again guys I hope you enjoyed the video remember to comment like share subscribe and peace out guys I will see you in the next one. Thank you.